first day on the ground running around Glasgow uh, I gotta try to keep my meandering Scottish accent to a minimum I can barely control it when I get around enough people to speak a different language than me I kind of mimic it so I apologize in advance if I sound like an asshole on any of these videos but um, cruising around Glasgow caught a little nap over at Doogie's and now uh, McGregor and I are gonna run some errands get away can I guess go pick up Scotty from the airport at some point you know survive and travel you know, there's some tricks to that, and uh, I'll probably go over those a little bit. You know, things that I'd recommend you do make things a lot better, especially traveling overseas, being a bigger guy. Some tricks, some tricks to being better. Cheers. Surviving travel is kind of key, you know, it's not easy. I do a lot of it. I travel a lot and it seems the longer you're on a flight, the worse it is and uh, the closer you are to dying. And it's a bit different being a bigger guy. I mean, if I was you know, a, a tiny little person weighing, you know, 120, 135 pounds, flying's probably pretty sweet, but it still sucks. You're still in this tube full of, uh, full of strangers and not really a comfortable position and weird pressures and food's not great and your options for food aren't great. It's tough, you're gonna be dehydrated. It's just not conducive for athletes in any way. So these are some of the things I do to help survive travel. essential things that you absolutely have to have while traveling. Uh, at least I do, especially international, but it really doesn't matter where I'm going. These are things that always, always, always I take with me and seem to have learned. I've learned that make a big difference in how comfortable I stay and how less stressed I get. So we'll start pretty easy. iPad. I travel with my iPad. I typically will download a TV show or a couple movies. Something like that. I like watching movies on airplanes, uh, over reading, I'm trying to fix that. I want to read more, so uh, recently I have a new book to pick up, and uh, we'll probably knock this out uh, during my Pleasanton trip. Something, uh, something nice to do. Uh, headphones. I actually carry, everywhere I go, just the very simple Apple headphones. These are great. They make good phone calls. They actually don't sound too bad. They're not as much a pain in the ass to put on as your big over the ears. They're also not hot. Um, having my ears covered up for a really, really long amount of time during travel kind of tends to suck. But while I'm on the actual airplane, I do like having my big cans. Um, so to those. I've got a pair of Beats by Dre that I've been using lately. Um, inside of my Beats by Dre package, I've got all the charging cables and auxiliary cords. Which is nice for once you get in a rental car, you can still listen to some tunes instead of whatever local shit radio station. So you can use that as well. So I've got the Beats Studios and uh, they're good headphones. Um, I'm sure someone will yell about they don't sound the best or any of that, but I don't really care. They sound better than being on an airplane. Uh, I've had uh, the Parrot Zix. Uh, they're nice. They sound good. They're probably a little bit more comfortable, but the battery life just doesn't survive compared to uh, these that are plugged in. So over a six hour flight, 
my headphones that I'm usually pretty hacked off for. You know, trip to California and back, maybe I'm not that smart and didn't think about charging them in between, and so they, again, you know, die on me. Um, food. I carry Quest Bars. Uh, I can get these pretty locally. These are great. Hey, Quest Bar, need a new guy? I'm your dude. So there's your chump change report. These are not paid for. I buy these with my money. Um, they taste good, good combo of stuff. I also really like Perfect Bar. Perfect Bar has been a great combo. The only issue with those is you got to refrigerate them. So flying's not uh, excellent. Um, water bottle. Now this is one I've changed up a couple times. Uh, recently, this is the new purchase, the 50-50 bottles. And uh, these are pretty rad. They're insulated, they're made of metal. Take a little bit of a beating. Um, got some dings and scratches after uh, traveling to Scotland in it, but that uh, just adds character to the bottle, so that's cool. Also, will keep water hot or cold uh, pretty good. Uh, honestly, haven't put much in it other than water just yet, um, but holds up well, fits in the pocket on my bag, and uh, holds a ton of water. It's 40 ounces, so that helps quite a bit. Um, absolute essential deodorant. I wear uh, any different flavors of uh, Old Spice. And uh, needless to say, traveling, I get real fucking stinky and gross. It seems like the only thing that comes out of my system is basically just pure stink. So having some deodorant on hand, maybe a spare t-shirt from when I land, excellent, especially on an overseas flight. Uh, what else? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. So I have a couple pair of Ray-Bans. I have some knockoff Ray-Bans that are really shit and stay in my bag for competing. But for traveling, I always have sunglasses. Sunglasses and headphones seem to eliminate most people wanting to try to chat to chat with you as I'm not terribly sociable while traveling because I'm moderately stressed out and hot and stink. Um, I always carry pre-workout and uh, this one seems to be the best. After traveling, I'm always kind of lethargic to say the least. I don't really want to do much and uh, this one seems to be my favorite by USP Labs. I am sponsored by these guys but I'm sponsored by them because I like their products and so uh, this one really seems to help when I'm on the road. Uh, you know some of their other stuff is just too much. I don't need that much of an upper. Um, I've talked about it before but another one I travel with now is a Max Adrenal. Really seems to help with uh, my recovery and being able to kind of get back on the game after traveling. Last but not least, travel with a shaker cup. This one is a, a fancy one by old uh, handsome himself, Jackson Tan, Mark Bell. Those are things that I absolutely don't leave home without other than my passport, wallet, cell phone, those type of things. But these are my things that make traveling a fuckload easier for me. So let me know what you think. Like, comments, and uh, Enjoy some of the, the rest of the shots around Scotland and kind of pissing off. Cheers.